Hi everyone, and welcome to the Rare One YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you here today because we're diving into a topic that's bound to make you question everything you know about time. We're talking about a year on other planets. Yep, that's right time across the solar system. It's stranger than you might think. We'll explore planets where a day outlasts a year, others where a single orbit takes over a century, and even some mind-bending orbital mechanics that will change how you think about the passage of time. By the end of this video, you'll have a whole new appreciation for the complexity of our cosmic neighborhood. Let's get started. Before we zoom out into the cosmos, let's start with what we know, Earth time. Here on Earth, we have a 365 day year and a 24 hour day. But what do those numbers actually mean? A year on Earth is the time it takes for our planet to complete one full orbit around the Sun. Think of it as a lap around a giant cosmic track. A day, on the other hand, is how long it takes for Earth to rotate once on its axis, like a spinning top. That's rotation. Meanwhile, the trip around the Sun is called revolution. Together, rotation and revolution define our familiar experience of time. But here's the thing. Earth's timekeeping is just one way to measure time. It's our perspective, shaped by the size of our planet, its position in the solar system, and its relationship with the Sun. When we venture beyond Earth, these familiar concepts start to warp. A planet's distance from the Sun plays a huge role in the length of its year. The farther a planet is, the longer it takes to complete its orbit. Why? Because the Sun's gravitational pull weakens with distance. This means outer planets move more slowly and travel along much larger orbital paths. It's like a cosmic highway. The planets closest to the Sun are in the fast lanes, zipping around quickly, while the outer planets cruise along more leisurely. This concept is beautifully captured in Kepler's third law of planetary motion, which tells us that the time a planet takes to orbit the Sun increases with its distance from the Sun. But distance isn't the only factor. Orbits aren't perfect circles. They're slightly elliptical, like elongated ovals. This shape causes planets to speed up when they're closer to the Sun and slow down as they move farther away, a phenomenon explained by Kepler's second law. It's like a cosmic slingshot. Let's start with Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Its orbit is so small that it completes a year in just 88 Earth days. Imagine celebrating your birthday four times a year. But Mercury's rotation is incredibly slow. It takes 59 Earth days to spin once on its axis. Here's where it gets wild. A single solar day on Mercury lasts 176 Earth days. That's longer than its year. And if you were standing on Mercury, you'd see the Sun perform some strange tricks, like reversing direction in the sky. This is due to Mercury's unique combination of rotation and revolution speeds. Venus, the slow spinner. Venus is Earth's twin in size, but that's where the similarities end. A day on Venus lasts a staggering 243 Earth days longer than its 225-day year. Even stranger, Venus spins backward, a phenomenon called retrograde rotation. This means the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Why does Venus spin this way? Scientists believe it might be the result of a massive collision early in its history. Whatever the cause, Venus's retrograde rotation is one of the solar system's great mysteries. Adding to its strangeness, Venus has an incredibly thick atmosphere, which creates a runaway greenhouse effect. Surface temperatures reach up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, 475 degrees Celsius, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. Mars, the almost familiar neighbor. Mars, our neighboring red planet, is a bit more relatable. Its day, called a Sol, is just 24.6 hours long, almost the same as Earth's. However, its year is nearly twice as long, lasting 687 Earth days. This longer year would have major implications for any future Martian colonies. 
Imagine adjusting agriculture and seasons to a Martian calendar. A growing season might take twice as long, and celebrating birthdays? Let's just say you'd age a bit slower in Martian years. Moving on to the gas giants. Jupiter is a planet of extremes. It's the largest planet in our solar system. But its rotation is incredibly fast, just under 10 hours. That's right, a Jovian day is less than half an Earth day. Yet, it takes Jupiter 12 Earth years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. Saturn, the ringed wonder, has a similar story. It spins slightly slower than Jupiter, with a 10.7 hour day. But its year is a whopping 29 Earth years. Imagine living on Saturn and waiting nearly three decades to celebrate a birthday. Saturn's iconic rings also deserve a mention. They're made of ice and rock particles, some as small as grains of sand, others as large as houses. Over the course of Saturn's orbit, its rings tilt and change their appearance from our perspective on Earth, creating a celestial spectacle. Now let's head to the ice giants. Uranus is tilted on its side, making it the rebel of the solar system. Its axial tilt of nearly 98 degrees causes it to rotate like a rolling ball. This leads to some of the most extreme seasons imaginable. With each pole experiencing 42 years of continuous sunlight, followed by 42 years of darkness. A Uranian year? A hefty 84 Earth years. Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, takes 165 Earth years to complete a single orbit. That means, since its discovery in 1846, it has only completed one orbit. Despite its slow revolution, Neptune's day is relatively quick at 16 hours. With its deep blue color and supersonic winds, Neptune is a mysterious and fascinating world. The differences in planetary timescales aren't just mind-bending, they could have profound implications for the search for life. Imagine life on a planet with a year that lasts centuries, or a day that stretches for months. How would creatures on such a planet evolve? Their biology, behavior, and even perception of time would likely be completely alien to us. For example, a species on a slow-rotating planet might experience long periods of daylight and darkness, shaping their sleep cycles, growth, and survival strategies. On the flip side, a fast-spinning planet like Jupiter might foster creatures adapted to rapid changes in light and temperature. So what have we learned? Each planet in our solar system has its own unique relationship with time. From Mercury's quick years to Neptune's epic centuries, these variations challenge our Earth-centric view of time and force us to think in new ways. Now here's a question for you. If you had the chance to experience life on another planet, which one would you choose? Would you prefer the quick pace of Jupiter, with its 10-hour days, or the slow rhythm of Neptune, where a single orbit spans generations? Share your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear your cosmic musings. If you enjoyed this deep dive into planetary time, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Rare One for more fascinating explorations of the universe. Until next time, keep looking up, keep wondering, and remember, time is what you make of it wherever you are in the cosmos.